Hello, my name is Kenzie Sims and welcome to this Sims 3 speed build. Today I am building a very bright yellow house, which I think I'm going to call it something like Lemon Drive, wait, no, dry, I don't know, <laughs> Lemon something. <laughs> but um, you'll know before me because it'll be in the title. Anyway, it is on a 20 by 30 lot and it is three bedrooms and three bathrooms. I'm finding it hard in my houses lately to kind of balance out the number of bathrooms and bedrooms. I normally like, say, three bedrooms and then two bathrooms I feel like is enough. Um, three bathrooms, that's okay, but I don't know, I feel like it's a bit more realistic to not have as many bathrooms as you do bedrooms. But then again, my mum and dad have five bathrooms and four bedrooms so it's like i have no idea or one's just a toilet but you know it's a half it's a half one but yeah i don't know i don't really know what the proper way of doing it is but i'm just just going along with what fits in the build i suppose um i don't really like when houses have less bedrooms and bathrooms because i just feel like it doesn't make sense to me i mean i'm sure there's many many houses that have more bathrooms than they do bedrooms but that's just my preference <laughs> because I have to be awkward don't I but yeah um I really enjoyed building this house it's a very different style to what I normally go for um the outside exterior doesn't really match what you'd think would the inside would look like the outside I think is quite not old-fashioned I mean it's bright yellow siding so it's not old-fashioned but maybe I'm thinking more like old 2000 and I don't know 16 YouTube where everyone used to use siding all the time um because to be honest in the UK I don't see any houses at all that are fully made from siding I don't know if that's more of like an American thing I really don't know but most of the houses in the UK are just like full brick so me using siding is completely out of my comfort zone anyway because I just I don't know if this is how it's meant to look <laughs> I just kind of went with it so I mean I liked it I, I kept the yellow because I thought I'm gonna be different because I've never really liked the color yellow like ever I don't know why that every time I had a yellow crayon when I was a little kid it would always break. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is going, oh my gosh, what's this? <laughs> <coughs> oh my god, did you hear my voice? Anyway, um, and something else, I never liked yellow sweets, um, there was just so many yellow things, yellow colouring pencils as well, they'd always used to break on me. Like, what was that about? Maybe I was just, I didn't like yellow, so I was being more forceful on them and breaking them myself, but it's so weird I've always said like yellow to me I just don't like yellow because I don't know there's many reasons but I was like I'm just gonna literally go out my comfort zone completely and do a yellow house with siding because that's another thing that I'm not very comfortable with using because I just don't know if I'm using it right but yeah that's kind of my thoughts on this house and why I went about it the way I did um, I love the floor plan though, I love the exterior, like the, the actual build, the look of it. I mean, it would have looked nice in any colour, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really proud of this house. I've not done a speed build properly, sat down and, you know, built a house, edited it, voiceovered it, put a speed build up for ages. And if I have, or when I have, it's not been ones that I've actually enjoyed having up. Um, I would end up obviously deleting or privatizing the videos so this one I'm actually really really proud of at first I don't know if I've fixed it now but at first I the the floor plan was massive like the the bottom floor Um there was a room at the back which I just didn't know what to do with because we already had a, like a living room area um, we already had a dining room and a kitchen and a bathroom downstairs and then there was just this massive room on the back and oh, I can't see because I don't know if I've made it any smaller but I do eventually if I haven't already done it make the room smaller um and then that's what room would that be I left that one empty actually yeah it's still massive 
Um, but I do make it smaller because I was like, this just doesn't make sense. It's way too. See that big massive room at the back? Like, that just needs to go, and it will in a minute. But uh, this house is not fully furnished, but it is kind of half furnished. Uh, again, I'm just putting out videos when I feel like I'm done with them and um, if I don't want to furnish the whole lot because I get bored or unmotivated, then I'm just going to put the build out anyway because, you know, you still want to see the builds. I don't want to delete the house and get rid of it in a save because I just know if I leave it in my game for so long, I'll end up deleting it and then no one will see it. It will never see the light of day. Um, so, yeah, I just went for it, put it out. And here we are, and the only rooms that are done are the living room, um, the kitchen, even though it's a bit sparse, but it's done. Uh, the dining room is done, and I think that's all. There's a few bits in the garden, um, and the front garden and landscaping is all done. Um, I found out that I am good, well I, I think, I don't want to be blowing my own trumpet, but <laughs> um, I think I'm quite good at landscaping and kind of decorating the front driveway of the house um, and like make it look good for curb appeal and all that kind of stuff but then when it gets to the garden I just don't know what to do like they've got so many ideas but I'm thinking because my mind's always like mm, do we want to go full-blown clutter you know make it look lived in or do we want to go realistic and I always go for realistic and to me houses like this suburban houses not many of them you know have swimming pools not in the uk anyway not many of them have hot tubs not many of them like, gardens are expensive to renovate in real life so i feel like a lot of people don't really do anything they just kind of leave it as grass and pavement and then they've got a bit of furniture here and there maybe um some houses as well have very overgrown gardens but I can't stand that look in my own garden or in anyone's garden like I couldn't like okay I like to look at it it's nice sometimes you know when it's like a certain time of year in the summer I like a clean garden clean just grass mowed everything cut back um but in the winter I don't mind a bit of overgrowing and stuff as long as I don't have to cut it all down in the summer <laughs> I'm so lazy, but I don't know, like to look at it's quite nice. I mean, my next door neighbour, they've got quite a messy, bushy garden, but sometimes it's nice, quite like, it looks quite nice, overgrown, but me personally, if it was my house, I like my gardens to be like trimmed back and mowed and all that kind of stuff, and my girlfriend likes it that way as well, so she mainly does the gardening i sometimes have to flip in help because you know it's our both our houses i can't just leave it up to her um i've probably mowed twice <laughs> uh, but she's done the rest of it uh, i've jet washed the pavement before um what else have i done pulled some weeds out uh, when we were renovating it i did some painting on the fences and stuff sorry let me just have a drink of my coffee before it goes cold Ooh, sorry if you heard me swallow it, that was disgusting. Um, but yeah, I always get roped in to doing the flipping garden, even though I said from the start, if we move into this house, the garden is yours to upkeep. I don't care for the garden. I'm not bothered. As long as I've got a little spot where the sun can get me and I can sit there in the summer, I don't care. <laughs> but then again, it's nice that she keeps on top of it and she kind of keeps me um, helping her because, you know, it's not fair. I can't just leave her up to it all the time. Um, so yeah, it's it's fine. It's absolutely fine. But uh, I've gone completely off track. <laughs> it's on about overgrown gardens, weren't we? Um, so yeah, in this garden, in this house, uh, we've basically got a patio, a bit of grass, and we've also got a table with a umbrella, which is not called an umbrella. There's another name for it, and I can't... Parasol, that's the one. Um, and then also there's two sunbed things uh that you can just lie on your sims can lie on and get a tan and that's pretty much it i do put a fence here <laughs> do you know what really annoys me with the fences in the sims especially this fence um the lots are not even so you can't do like three wide all along or two wide all along there's always one more square that you need to like Put the fence on so now instead of using the whole lot which i used to do because it used to annoy me that there was gaps in between lots now i'm just gonna 
put the fence where I think it should go and yeah we, we just kind of look past the fact that it doesn't fit the lot and we get over it <laughs> and we move because otherwise it will drive me mad and if you saw that flicker really quick I'm trying to uh, it's, it's reshade basically. When I press M, like to put mother load in or to put move objects in, uh, my reshade pops up. I know I can change it to use a different key, but it's fine. So now I know it pops up and you can actually see it on the screen, I really quickly get rid of it. So I'm like, M, M. So when I have to put in move objects, I don't just put M, O, -O, -O V, E, blah, blah, blah. I have to put M, M, O, V, E. Because obviously, M will type but then it opens reshade and then I can't type anymore because reshade's blocking me from typing so I have to press M again to get rid of reshade and then but pressing M again doesn't put another M down so I can just go along with uh, what I was typing and put move objects I don't know why I'm explaining this but it's something to talk about I mean, we've got a half an hour video so may as well um is there anything else I want to talk about the house oh so yeah so that the exterior is quite in my eyes a little bit more traditional and then the interior is quite modern and sleek and it's very nice like I really like the style of the inside and that's my kind of style um, but the exterior like I'm looking at it and it's a nice house but it's that yellow I don't know what it is I can't get past the fact that it's yellow and I'm not massively keen and this house to me I would picture more of an older couple, like an old little granny and granddad living here um, with the bright yellow cute house because um, I just feel like it suits, you know, an older person but then again, who's to say what suits who? I mean anyone can have whatever they want so it doesn't really matter maybe it's a very happy, bright, friendly family that live here and they just like exterior I mean modern I mean traditional exterior but modern interiors or maybe they just don't have the money to paint the whole outside of the house because to be honest that would be flipping expensive maybe they moved here whoever lived here before literally painted it yellow and they actually moved here they said oh I love the house but I hate the yellow I don't know I just went with yellow okay like I don't know why I'm trying to over explain the situation I just went with yellow and that's that and um yeah I like it I like the shape of the house um, if it was all brick like it is in the UK, I wouldn't be as happy with it because, I don't know, it's just what I see all the time, there's, there's a lot of brick in the UK, my whole house is made of brick, there's a house I can see from my window right now, it's made of brick, the whole row of houses next to it is made of brick, um, and then the other thing that people do put on their houses, I'm not sure what it's called in the UK, but I think in America you call it stucco, and it's kind of like a flat matte rough texture but like painted bit of the house <clears throat> excuse me i'm trying not to cough in the mic or clear my throat let me have another drink but yeah um oh i love the landscaping of the front garden as i said but when it comes to the back garden i don't know what it is i just feel like because my garden I have in real life um, is very sparse we've literally got grass stones pavement and that's it we've got no flowers we've got no bushes we had bushes along the back you see those bushes that are at the front of the house here just on the right there and um, we had like a bush going the whole length of the back of the garden we ripped all that out, changed it to stones and put nice lights in. I mean, it's it's quite bare and there is a tree on the left of our garden, a big massive tree, but um, we kept that. We can't um, get rid of that. I don't know if it's a listed tree, but we kept it anyway. It's just kind of annoying when the sun comes round. We've got like a sun trap of a garden, but we don't get the sun the whole day because the trees in the flipping way so we try and get it cut back once a year but you know it's still quite a big bush <laughs> um but anyway uh what was i gonna say so yeah anyway this house this garden in this house how cute are these numbers by the way and the little doorbell but this house's garden is very sparse because i just don't like over landscaping it 
um, I mean I could have easily put those long bushes just around the edge just so it gave it something but yeah I really need to practice on gardens and I will and I'm gonna stop going on about gardens now because I'm annoying myself so what else can we go on about oh I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing this weekend so it is while I'm recording this it is 10 past 8 in the morning um, on a Friday morning it's my day off I have Friday, Saturday, Sundays off, if you wanted to know. <laughs> um, and I am going to do this voiceover. Hopefully do another two voiceovers because I have another little cool series coming out. Um, but we'll see if we have time. And also, I'm going to... Ugh, I can't be bothered right now, but... I'm really excited for this week like tomorrow I'm going to be painting repainting our kitchen because it's we got like a dark blue paint for we've got white um countertops um and the cupboard doors are very old-fashioned and we thought we'd modernize them up a bit and we'll paint them like a dark blue color and it looks great um, and then we got like a grey, we've got grey flooring, grey like lino but it's like stone looking, stone brick looking floor. Um, and then we've got, we tried to get like a, a grey wool colour, came out flipping blue. So, you know, we painted it like a year ago and for about a year it's been driving me crazy. I just don't like it. I don't like the blue, it makes it look dark and dingy it's meant to be gray to match the floor didn't work out so we've actually got a glass splashback which is like a duck egg or a baby blue kind of color and i i'm going to buy the paint today i bought some testers the other day just to try but i'm going to buy the paint today and i'm going to do one of the walls a duck egg blue to match the splashback it's a different wall so it's not going to be blue on blue and then the rest I'm going to find like a very light actual grey that's not bluey grey um, and I'm going to paint the rest of the kitchen we've recently got a grey blind up which looks great it's not a bluey grey blind <laughs> um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the cupboard doors because they're still going to be dark blue but it's quite hard to get the colour off because it's it's like a varnishy wood shiny paint yeah it's it's a, gonna be a bit awkward so i don't know how i'm gonna do that um i don't know whether to as well like i want to do that white but then we've got like would have white um appliances like fridge oven microwave they're all white uh white countertops and then we'll also have white cupboards so i feel like i don't know if it's going to be too clinical and too white so then i'm thinking if i do the cupboards white um can we maybe change the countertops to like a wooden countertop but then that puts me off because they get marked so easily my mum and dad have wooden countertops in the kitchen and it gets marked so easy, as much as it looks gorgeous i'm sure my sister has as well she, my sister's just bought a house and she's doing it up i'm sure she has wooden countertops but you have to really be careful and protect them because it's literally wood and it's got i think it's got like a bit of a protective film on top of it but i don't know whether to just get you know the sticky back plastic and just cover the counters we've got i mean they're perfectly good counters they just need sprucing up i suppose i don't know um maybe we'll get a wood sticker to go on there it's just hard you've got to make sure obviously it goes around the sink and around all the bits and bobs and um it, it's not bubbly or anything but we'll figure it out i don't know but yeah we're definitely going to be painting the kitchen this weekend and i can't wait because the kitchen when the kitchen's at the back of the house and the sun does come round um most of the day to the back of the house so it's great but in the mornings it's very dark um because of the like silvery blue color um it, the paint's meant to be gray but I accidentally picked up, it's my own fault, I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically a silver more than a grey, so it's actually like a shiny grey-blue, um, and I've just hated it ever since, so yeah. I need to find a different paint though, I'm hoping Wilco's is still open. My girlfriend's saying that Wilco's has closed down, but I don't know, 
I hope not because there's paint in there that I need to get it when at B and Q was where I got the paint from before um actually no it wasn't it was B and M but I'm, I was going to B and Q today to get the paint but um I've looked at the reviews online and a lot of people are saying that the one I chose the one I actually tested it's actually got a it's actually blue when it's on your wall and I was like oh for god's sake not again so glad I looked at the reviews before I bought it um and then there was another one I was like oh that's really nice it's even a lighter grey and then people are saying in the reviews that it looks lilac like why isn't there just a true light grey I don't know why it's so hard <laughs> but whatever so I'm going to Wilco's instead and I've looked at the reviews on one of the paints there I can't remember the name of it um but people are saying that grey is like really nice really like true grey so yes we're just gonna have to go to I'm just gonna have to go to Wilco's and get it so that's fine still gotta go to B&Q anyway to get the other one <laughs> but uh never mind hey it'll all look nice in the end uh I might I'll probably in the community tab put some pictures of the kitchen when it's done I think that would be nice um but yeah i mean i'm not a big fan of duck egg blue but we've got no choice we can't take the splash back down um <clears throat> her granddad actually put, my girlfriend's granddad actually put the splash back up very recently but before we moved in um for somebody else and yeah I don't know we just we can't take it down it's it's pretty brand new so so you know um right I'm actually using can you believe it OSP <laughs> um I love this kitchen it's probably one of my favorite styles of kitchen like this is what I'd love in my kitchen um I'd love the subway tiles we've just got normal square ones I'd love the wooden countertops with the white cupboards but our cupboards as I said are very old fashioned shaped cupboards they're not modern like this um we've just kind of worked with what we had painted them and then put like a nice handle knob on it <laughs> um and yeah I, I really like this style basically i don't know if it's like farmhousey i'm not really sure so i'm just trying to drink my coffee before it goes cold because i can feel it going cold oh is anyone else freezing in the uk at the moment like it's just literally dropped over the last two weeks and obviously the gas bills are stupidly going up so we we're just not putting the heat on <laughs> it's not good but we're not putting the heat on um we're trying to keep warm by wearing like fluffy pajamas or um house coats or robes whatever you want to call it get, get your slippers on get the um hot water bottle full oh and it's just a nightmare but um that's just what has to happen at the moment because the bills oh my god they're ridiculous my bill for this house i've got a three bedroom house you know it's quite a large space like each room is it's quite big um the living room is massive as well and the kitchen's quite a big kitchen for a kitchen <laughs> and <clears throat> gosh my throat and the bill has gone from I think it's like forty-one pounds to one hundred and eighty-six pounds. So one year ago, it's forty-one pounds. Tell me, tell me why it's one hundred and eighty-six pounds now? Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So we're just really trying to keep the heat off. Um, you know, less baths. Um, trying to not use the washing machine as much but i don't know if that that must use gas because it's hot water our oven's gas like we can't not cook food you know for dinner we can't not eat so yeah you just you just gotta be careful just gotta be careful because if we use more than what we should they're gonna put our bill up even more um phoned up the other day and we actually got it down to 186 so we're trying to ask for 256 pounds i was like no I'm sorry but no don't be ridiculous 256 pounds just for gas not even electric electric separate oh it's just craziness anyway 
I really like, oh, that was a weird noise coming out my throat. <laughs> I really like the living room. Um, the colour scheme is completely different to what I'd ever, ever go for. But again, it's modern, like I said, like the inside's very modern, the outside's very not, but it's whatever. Um, and I love the colours of the sofa, uh, the little chairs. And also, I don't know if you're going to see it again, but the rug is like a suede grey rug and I love it. And then this is obviously a dresser, but I'm using it as like a little console side table because I just needed to fill that gap there. It was quite a massive space in this, like a weird shaped living room. Um, <clears throat> but to get like a funky shaped house, you kind of need to compromise and have some kind of um, weird shaped living room. So this is kind of like a T-shaped living room. Um, I could have actually put a desk here with a computer, but I don't know why I ended up going with a book nook instead, like a little chair. It was going to be a bookcase and a lamp <laughs> and a curtain to match the other curtain. I have been using a little bit more CC um, that you might notice and like OMSP and a few mods and stuff. Um, and I really want to gradually build up my CC catalogue, um, if you will, <laughs> because there's a few bits that I think are missing in The Sims, and I just want to download kind of the bare minimum, um, so maybe a couple of console tables in different styles, maybe like a bookshelf or two because I was looking for a bookshelf to put there and I only wanted like a half size little one that would fit under a window and they don't really have any in the game and the ones they do have are like quite old fashioned or they're just a bit too tall or they don't go with the modern style so that was the best one I could find which is actually from Roaring Heights and I don't like the curvedness of it because to me that really screams like um, is it 60s? No, not 60s, like 40s. Is that the Roaring Heights era? I don't really know. But, um, 50s? <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I just need some nice little modern ones. But I don't like CC that's, like, very, very alpha. I mean, I know The Sims, Sims 3 has its own style. It's realistic. It's quite alpha, but it's not, it's not cartoony at all like The Sims 4. Um, but I like just the Sims 3 look. I don't want it to be too realistic because too realistic to me doesn't fit the game and I like the game to match. Um, so it's a hard one. Just, if anyone knows any websites, tumblers, anything, I know around the Sims 3 they do like proper Sims 3-esque um, CC and it's great and they convert Sims 4 stuff to Sims 3 and it does look a bit more realistic. Still looks a bit cartoony but I don't know, The Sims 4 is improving with the graphics as well, so I suppose when they're changing, they're converting it f Sims 4 stuff to Sims 3 stuff, it's starting to look more realistic anyway. But yeah, I don't know, We'd just if you've got any nice CC you want to share or websites or something, please let me know, as long as it's not too alpha, too realistic, um, and nothing has brands on. I don't like CC that has, you know, English letters on. I like it to be in Simlish if it has any words on, and I don't like to see real brands, you know, like Nike, Adidas, I don't know what else, what other brands are there, I can't think, but yeah, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> Sorry about my cough, my throat, listen, listen to my throat, am I losing my voice? I hope not, because I've got another two voiceovers to do, so I'm going to be sad. <laughs> but yeah, I like this dining room. Bit of a strange shape. This one could have been the dining room, and then that one could have been like a study or something, but maybe this could be a four bedroom house, and then that's a bedroom downstairs. I'm not massively keen on downstairs bedrooms, but it does happen, so you know. I don't know, like the, the idea I've got of realism in my head is not real, um, because I'm like, nah, bedrooms have got to be upstairs, that's realistic to me, but a lot of bedrooms are downstairs in houses as well as upstairs, so. You know, it's just personal preference, I suppose. I can't go on saying that everything I build is realistic because it's probably not, but I try my hardest. Um, but anyway, 
stay tuned to the end for the screenshots i didn't realize we're at the end but we are thank you so so much for watching please like if you like comment what you think and subscribe if you'd like to see more bye